Hi everyone, my name is Mary Jean Murphy and I am going to be your leader for the Right as Rain Kim Deal Sew Along, also called Riverside Knoll. And I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about how to get started. We are working diligently to get everyone their, um, their kit. If you haven't gotten your kit, we you should be getting it anytime soon. And we are just kind of waiting on one fabric, but I think that, uh, I think we're ready to roll very quickly. I have a few tips for you, and we're going to probably have some tips along the way. And I'm going to be with you every month with your installments. That's what she's calling it, installments one through six. And we're going to get this done, and we're going to be successful and maybe learn a few things on the way. So the first thing I'd like to tell you is um, you're going to get your kit in the mail, and it's going to be wrapped in a nice bag. I took mine out of the bag and I put it in a box so that I can actually keep the pieces all together. Um, however, when you get your pattern, which will come also in your kit, I want you to get it all together in a way that you feel like you could keep it, um, it just kind of keep it together. Just keep it so that it's organized, something that you can just go to and pick up and um, you won't be looking for it because that's always frustrating. The one thing that I did do is I bought a little one inch binder. I laid, labeled it Kim Deal Sew Along. I guess I could have put Riverside Knoll on it. And I had all these um, page protectors. So I just added all of my, uh, my pattern in a page protector so that I can just go back and forth and back and forth and find everything. It actually keeps the pieces together so I know exactly where everything is. Um, when you do get your kit, it will come with this one sheet that I would I would recommend you copy off and cut the uh, little motifs out, cut the icons maybe with the numbers because along the way she does in the installments give you a um, a little list of all up oh, oh, here it is a little list of all the fabrics that you'll need. But within the pattern, it just says the number. So just to keep it so that you aren't really, um, you're just a bit organized. I went ahead and I cut out the motif. I just black and white did it. It didn't really matter to do it color. And I left on the number and I pinned it to my fabric so that I knew exactly which fabric was what. Um, like I said, it'll just say uh, cut one strip one and a half inches from 9842-40 and you're going to just be doing a lot of this if you don't do this in the beginning. Um, a lot of people have asked me, Mary Jean, do you wash your fabric or do you not wash your fabric? Well, I think that that's probably more of a personal choice. I myself did not wash the fabric. This is probably a quilt that's going to get hung on the wall and I don't see it being you know, tossed in the corner, folded up a lot. I think it'll, I think it'll uh, probably just be hung on the wall and I'm okay with not washing the fabric. If you do wash your fabric, I suggest that you do it by um, darks and lights like you would do any laundry. I'm sure I don't have to tell you how to do laundry, but uh, use one of those color catchers. There, You can get them in the grocery store and throw them in and I think you'll be uh, successful with um, just laundering it. It does have a bit of sizing in it, but it's not, um, you know how some fabrics is just real stiff. This is really soft and, and good, and I think you'll be okay if you do. But like I said, it is definitely more of a, um, a personal choice, whatever you'd like to do one way or the other. I'm sure along the way, you're going to have some comments or some, um, some questions. Um, maybe you cut something out wrong and you wanna know if uh, we have any more of the fabric, uh, just anything that you that you come across. I hope that you join us. We're gonna have a question and answer once a month. We're going to have a video of, of kind of a how-to. I wouldn't say it's much of a teaching moment, but I'm gonna give you tips and things that will make you a little more successful going through your installment. And other than that, we are My Favorite Quilt Store. You can always email us, call, call customer service, anything you need, we are here for you. So uh, let's get started pretty soon. Uh, watch your email for when we will be, um, we'll be actually kicking off and let's be successful and let's do it together. Thanks everyone.